What's going on YouTube? It's Mike here and today guys I got some awesome news for you and basically iOS 5 and iCloud is now out and available from Apple. Today is October 12th, 2011, two days before the iPhone 4S release and as told by Apple at last week's event you would get iOS 5 and iCloud on this day. So it is available now. Basically you can download iOS 5 on your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. It's free of course. Uh, if you do have the GM, which is kind of like for developers, but public people can also use it just by downloading it, the GM is the same exact release. There may be a very tiny bugs in the GM, I'm not really sure, I know that there's one or two bugs on my 3GS, so I might restore mine with the public version of iOS 5, maybe, but it's pretty much the same build, so those of you who don't want to go through the restore process again, you don't really have to, you kind of already have the build. If you don't know what iOS 5 is, I'm not going over it because I already have, and uh, there will be a link in the description to actually see my review of iOS 5. Of course, you've seen me over the summer make all the iOS 5 beta release videos, and now that we're finally here with the final release of iOS 5 available to you guys, of course I'd have to make a video. So there will be a link in the description if I do actually have a release of iOS 5, I'm pretty sure I do. So again, it'll be like one of the first links in the description. The other thing that was released was Apple's new cloud system called iCloud, and they registered this domain at iCloud on your iPhone, iPad, iPod Touch, Mac, or PC, and basically what iCloud allows you to do is store and do things in the cloud. Basically, you can put your music, photos, media, documents, pictures, whatever you want to up in the cloud, and then pull it down from anywhere else. So, let's say I find, you know, 20 nice photos on my Mac. I can go ahead and put them into the cloud, upload them via iCloud.com, and then receive them on my iPad, my iPod Touch, or iPhone. And it's as easy as that. Now iCloud also has a Mac version, and I'll pull that up right now on my Mac. And as you can see, I'm logged in here in my account. Basically, we have mail, contacts, calendar, find my iPhone, which I don't really need to, and uh, iWork. So if you've seen actually my iCloud coverage video while this was still in the beta, you'll know that maybe there's a few changes here and there. Um, I'll go ahead and show you, I guess. Uh, we went over the way that the uh, iOS alerts kind of pop up in iCloud, which is really cool. I like this feature a lot. It m kind of integrates the whole back to the Mac thing with Mac OS X and iOS. Basically, we also have contacts, calendar. I'm not going to open these up. I'll we'll open up calendar. It is a little slow, and I couldn't blame Apple because I only have a gigabyte of RAM on my Mac, which is kind of bad. But um, calendar is basically kind of like iPod Touch and iPhone and iPad app. It actually does look pretty nice and looks pretty usable. It's kind of like iCal. I mean, if you don't want iCal or you have a PC, then this is probably the way to go. But if I were to use the calendar apps, which Apple makes, which I never do, I don't need them, I would probably use iCal over it. Then, of course, there's Find My iPhone and uh, iWork. I just don't have this stuff set up yet, but uh, eventually I will. And it's not like I have Keynote and Pages and Numbers on my iPhone or iPad. So... Uh, for the Mac and PC, it's kind of unuseful for me, but it is very useful also on my iPhone and iPad. Not so much my iPod Touch since I don't use it a lot, and I don't really need all my stuff on there. Again, because I don't use it a lot, but I can push data back and forth, which is a really cool feature. Get my apps in both places, and it just saves a lot of time and is much easier to do. So guys, that's basically it. You know what iOS 5 is, and you know what iCloud is, and all these awesome features. It's all available today for you guys, free on Apple.com. Of course, if you want to get more storage like on iCloud, then it's going to cost you money, but also iTunes 10.5 the final, I almost said beta, the final version is now out. You guys can also download, download that from Apple.com now. That's it for this video, guys. If you liked it, please leave some comments below on your thoughts. Of course, rate, give this video a thumbs up, and click the subscribe button up top. Stay tuned, guys. In less than two days from this iPhone 4S unboxing and review, I'm really excited, and I will see you guys then. Peace.